Let's talk about the quality of care in a variety of healthcare institutions. Here's this article in Newsweek about the world's best hospitals. I grabbed a few of them and I found them on Google. This clinic, you may have heard of it, is called the Mayo Clinic. On Google, they have a 3.9 star rating out of five. 437 people ranked that hospital. This is the University of Michigan Hospital just down the road from me, 3.3 stars. This is Massachusetts General Hospital. These are the best hospitals in the country and in the world. 3.9 stars here. 741 people gave a Google review. A lot of times, I would say nearly 100% of the time, I'm sure these Google reviews are unsolicited. The famous Cleveland Clinic, 3.7 stars. Johns Hopkins, 3.4 stars. UCLA, Ronald Reagan Medical Center, 3.9 stars. This one's in France, 3.2 stars. It's in that Newsweek report as being in the top 10 best hospitals in the world. This one's in Berlin, 3.2 stars, one of the top 10 in the world. University of Tokyo Hospital, 3.5 stars. Cornell Columbia Hospital, 4.0 out of 5 stars. Pretty good. Pretty good for a hospital. Here's Duke. 3.4 stars. Oh, look, the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This is where I work. 4.9 stars. Pretty good, huh? And it's labeled work because this is my account. And it tells me this is where I work. You manage this pr business profile. These Google reviews are unsolicited. I don't ask my patients to give me Google reviews. There are two main reasons why people give a score for a review. Number one is customer service. And number two is actually getting results. So if you have very friendly staff, that's a plus. And if you get people well, that's the other plus. Are they actually getting people better? When somebody has diabetes, do they actually reverse it? When somebody has a heart disease, placking or whatever, are they doing the things biochemically that can eat away at that placking? You know, and the list goes on and on, whether it's arthritis, fatigue. The point is you want to work with the body, with mother nature. And there's two tools for that, two primary tools. Number one, diet. Number two, supplements. As opposed to using drugs. All drugs have side effects. All drugs bypass the natural processes of the bodies. All drugs punish the body. Taking a drug is like taking a punishment. And you're trying to squash symptoms. That is not the best way to go about chronic disease. If you get hit by a bus, go to the ER, they will save your life. But if you had a symptom such as fatigue or a rash for 10 years, you got it takes some time and, and it's best to work with the natural uh, products and diet and get out parasites, get out metals, get out chemicals and address fungus, mold, et cetera. That's the best way to deal with chronic illnesses. I'm looking forward to reading these comments. I hope I offended somebody. If I offended you, you really need to look at your approach to healthcare or the business that you're working in. And if your business is ranked low in the healthcare field, what are you missing? What are you not doing to actually get people better? And maybe you're a total jerk. And maybe people don't like you because you're, you or your staff are, are mean. Okay, that's one factor. Clean that up and then get people well.